Hi, welcome to my video on factoring a cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomials have the form of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, c, a, b, c, d belong to the real numbers. The degree of a cubic polynomial is 3. Notice the highest power, 3. Each polynomial has three factors in terms of x, and they're called linear factors. Linear factors, because each has a degree of one. Three factors, and they're linear. Some examples, x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. If you multiply this out by, uh, multiply these two, you get a quadratic x squared, and when you multiply x by the quadratic, you get a cubic, degree 3. Notice you have these two binomials will give you a quadratic of x squared, multiplied by x, and you'll get an x cubed, which is cubic. I have a 1 right here, and a 2, so that gives me a cubic. x cubed is cubic. Notice a square, this is a x to the 1 being squared is x squared times x is a cubic, just different forms of cubic. And we have a linear and linear and 7x is a linear because that's a 1, that's a 1 and that's a 1. When you multiply these two you get x squared, when you multiply x by those two you get x cubed. So these are different forms of a cubic polynomial. Let's factor each cubic polynomial completely. So we're factoring a cubic polynomial completely. So we look, we have them in descending order. So we have x is common and the smallest exponent is 2. So the GCF is x squared. So x cubed divided by x squared is x plus x squared divided by x squared is 1. Notice you have two terms here. So you have to have 2 in here. And the GCF is x again. x is the GCF, and the smallest exponent is 1. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. Uh, 5x squared divided by x is plus 5x. And 4x divided by x is plus 4. And notice now that we have a, a trinomial and the a term is 1, so this is easy to factor because the product is 4 and the sum is 5. So the factors of 4 are 1 and 4, 2 and 2. So what pair gives you a 5? It's 4 and 1, so it's x and x, 1 and 4. Since the product is positive, then you must have two of the middle signs, two pluses, plus 1 plus 4. When you multiply you get plus 4. When you add these two factors you get a plus 5. C. I see a, a, a binomial GCF so x plus 3 is being taken out and if you take x plus 3 out of this uh, expression you get an x squared. If you take an x plus 3 out of this expression you get a minus 4. Notice that we have a linear, but this is a quadratic. But it's a special quadratic in that we have, notice we have an x squared minus 2 squared. We call that the difference of two squares. So it's x and x, 2 and 2, and it's a plus and a minus. Notice there's no x in the middle. So the sum is 0. So if you add plus 2 minus 2, you get a 0. And we have four terms. Nothing common in all four terms, but we break them up into two pairs. And in the first two, we have x is a GCF, but we have to take the smallest exponent. x squared is common, so x cubed divided by x squared is x. 6x squared divided by x squared is 6. And we have a negative here, so we take the negative, whatever that sign is, that's what that one is. And there's nothing common, only a 1, there's a 1 right there, so we take out a negative 1. So negative x divided by negative 1 is x, 
negative 6 divided by negative 1 is 6. And notice now we have a binomial GCF of x plus 6. If you take x plus 6 out of this expression, we get an x squared. Take x plus 6 out of this expression, we get a minus 1. And again, we have the difference of 2 squares, because that's x squared minus 1 squared. Difference of 2 squares is same terms, x and x. And 1 times 1 gives us 1, and it's a plus and a minus. The difference of 2 squares, same terms, except plus minus. And E, I have a cubic again. Notice it's in descending order. And this is in descending order. But I have a negative. And I have a 7 is a numerical GCF. And X squared is a literal GCF. So I'll take out a negative 7X squared. And a negative 7X cubed divided by negative 7X squared is X. Negative 21 divided by negative, sorry, positive 21 divided by negative 7 is a negative 3. X squared divided by X squared. And that's fully factored. And we have a GCF of X is in descending order. I always check. 3, 2, 1. X is in descending order. So we take out the X. So 2X cubed divided by X is 2X squared. 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x, and negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. Notice now we have a trinomial, but the a is 2. So that means we have a product, which is a times c, and we have a sum of b. When a is not a GCF and not 1, yet we can go about by product ac sum b. And the product is A is 2, C is negative 2, so that gives us negative 4, and the sum is B, which is a negative 3. And so what are the factors that will give us this? Factors of 4 are 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. And because the product is negative, the factors differ. So 2 and 2 won't work, so we have a 1 times 4. And because the product is negative, I have a plus and a minus, so I have a positive 1 and a negative 4. Because when you add these, you get a negative 3. When you multiply, you get a negative 4. So we put those two factors, plus 1x minus 4x, and you add up these, you get negative 3. We break them up into two pairs. So that becomes x is the GCF of these two. So take x out, I get 2x plus 1. And I have a negative right here, so I put a negative down. I see a 2 is a GCF. Negative 4x divided by negative 2 is 2x. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a plus 1. And we have an x, I just do the, the, G, the binomial GCF is 2x plus 1, and what's left is x minus 2, factored. As a, notice we have three factors, one, a linear there, because that's a 1, that's a linear 1, so 1, 2, 3, three linear factors. There's one linear factor here. But there's two x's as x times x, so it's cubic. Cubic has three factors. And practice means uh, pause your video, work these out, and press play and see if you have the right answers. Here we go. I see x minus 4 as a binomial GCF. When I take x minus 4 out, I get an x squared in the first term. I get a minus 7x in the second one, and I get a plus 10. So the x minus 4 comes out, and you're left with x squared minus 7x plus 10. And we have a, a trinomial where a is 1. When a is 1, we have a product of 10 and a sum of negative 7. The product is your c. And your sum 
is your B that's S for sum there so the product is 10 because that's a 1 automatically when that's a 1 1 times 10 that's your product and that's its sum so what factors give you uh, factors of 10 are 1 times 10 2 times 5 so there we go and because it's a 1 we got an X times X is X squared factors of 10 to give you a 7 1 and 10 won't give you 7 so it has to be a 2 and a 5 and because the sum is because the product is positive then I will have two of the same signs and it will be two negatives because it's got to be negative 2 times negative 5 multiply 10 add negative 7 so we don't have to do the grouping when there's a 1 and number 2 Let's take out the x and the 3. The 3x three is, 3 is the numerical, the, lit, yet the um, numerical, and x is the literal, there's a 1. So 3x cubed divided by 3x is x squared, and 12x divided by 3x is plus 4. Notice this is 3x and x squared plus 4. That's the sum of two squares. We cannot factor the sum of two squares over the real numbers. There is another number system we have to learn about. It's called imaginaries, but we'll learn that later on in grade 11 or so. So there's two here, but we can't do it yet unless you've done imaginary numbers. And there's one there that says a cubic. And we have another one here. We have a uh, negative, and we have a 5, which is GCF, and we have an x squared. The first term is negative, take the negative out. The factoring patterns is easier. When we divide, we get an x, and when we divide, a negative 5x cubed divided by negative 5x squared is an x, and 20 divided by negative 5 is a negative 4, and the x's we don't, x squared divided by x squared cancels. So we have 2 there, 1 there is a cubic. Number four, I see x as a GCF. Again, we should be checking to make sure we got the 3, 2, 1 descending order. We take the x out, numerical, so x cubed divided by x is x squared. Negative 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x. Negative 10x divided by x is negative 10. And again, this is when you have a, a 1. This is fa easy factorable. That's the product, and that's the sum. x squared is x times x. The factors of 10 are 1 and 10, 2 and 5. So which pair gives you a 3? 1 and 10 will never give you a 3. So it has to be a 2 and a 5. The product is a negative 10. So one, you have a positive and a negative. So 2 is positive. And 5 is negative because when you add negative 5 and 2, you get a negative 3. When you multiply, you get negative 10. So when there's a 1, it's, you can do it fast because that's the product and that's the sum. And you can work them out quick. Number 5. Uh, mm, don't have descending order. So I got a 15x cubed minus 40x squared plus 20x. Descending order done. That's a 1 and that's a 2. So I put a 3, 2, 1. And I have a GCF of, I see a 5 and a 15. And I see an x. So 5x is the GCF. You take it out. You get a 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. 5x divided into each of these and there is the answer. And now I have a, a, a is three, so I have to go through. The product is A times C. The sum is B. Let's see, A is three, C is four. That gives me a 12. And the sum 
is b, which is negative 8. So what are the factors that will multiply to give you 12? So it's 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. But the product's positive, so we're adding up the factors to give you an 8. 1 and 12 won't give you an 8. 3 and 4 won't give you an 8. So the factors are 2 and 6. But because the product is positive, we'll have the same signs. So we'll have two negatives. So it's a negative 2 and a negative 6. Multiply. Negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. Add negative 8. That means we can expand this out to get a negative 2x minus 6x plus 4. Break it up into two pairs. And in the first pair, I have x. So 3x squared divided by x is 3x. Negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. And I have a negative. So we, whatever that sign is right there, we put it there. And 6 and 4 have 2 in common, so take it out. Negative 6x divided by negative 2 is 3x. Plus 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And that gives us 5x and a GCF. The binomial GCF is 3x minus 2, and what's left over is x minus 2. I did that quick there because I didn't have enough space. And again, pause your video and work them out first, and press play and, and see if you got it right. That's the way of checking to see if you're doing okay. I have four terms, uh, two, no. 9 got a 3, no, no x's in the term, so I have to group 2 pairs, 4 terms, I'll go 2 and 2, so 4x squared is the GCF in these two, and so we divide, we get an x, and we divide, we'll get plus 2, so 4x cubed divided by 4x squared is x, 8x squared divided by 4x squared is 2. And I have a negative here, so I take the negative. 9 and 8, the 9 is common, GCF. Negative 9x divided by negative 9 is x. Negative 18 divided by negative 9 is plus 2. And the binomial GCF is x plus 2. 4x squared minus 9. So I take out the x plus 2, I get 4x squared. I take out the x plus 2, I get a negative 9. And we have 4x squared minus 9. And notice, it's what we call the difference of two squares. Notice, 4x squared is 2x being squared minus 3 being squared. So it's a difference of two squares. Notice there's no middle term x. So that's a 2x and a 2x. 3 and 3. And because the product is negative 9, we have a plus and a minus. Fully factored. Number 7. I have descending order 3, 2, 1. And I take out, I see a 3 here. A 3, smallest factor is 3. So 30 got a 3, 48 got a 3. So I'll take out the negative. I'll take out the 3. And I'll take out the x, because the x is common. Negative 3x cubed divided by negative 3x is x squared. Negative 30x squared divided by negative 3x is a positive 10x. And a negative 48x divided by negative 3 is a positive 16. And we have a, a trinomial here, and a is 1. So the factors of 16 to give you a 10, 16 product is 16, the sum is 10, remember you, there's your product and there's your sum because the a is 1, and factors of 16 to give you a 10, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4, 2 and 8, so x squared is x and x, uh, ends in a plus, so it's uh, 2 in the middle term, so it's 2 pluses, so 8 and 2. Multiplies to give you 16, adds to give you 10. And number 8, 
we have a binomial GCF of x squared minus 25. When you take that out, you get a 2x and a plus 8. So, the first one, again, that's the difference of two squares. That's x squared minus 5 squared. So it's x and x, 5 and 5, plus minus, difference of 2 squared. But also notice here now that there's a 2 common. So I have a 2 coming out. So I have 2 into 2x two is x. 2 into 8 goes 4. So now I have 2, any number by itself should always go in the front. So the 2 goes in the front. I got an x plus 5 x minus 5 and an x plus 4. Three monomial factors. Notice three monomial factors. One, two, three. Three monomial factors. Cubic has three monomial factors all the time. Now this is an extra one to make you think a little bit. And if we have four terms so we do the grouping. So we do the grouping right here and I do the grouping here I have nothing in common in the first two and an x in the second two. So if I take the x out of the, these two, I get a y x minus 4. But that's not the same as this. So what happens is that it won't work as is. So I'm going to switch. I'm going to take the y x squared and move it to the left. I'm going to take the negative 4y and move it to the right. Remember, when you move these, you don't change the sign because you're not moving across an equal sign. So let's, because I switched them around, which I can because of what we call the commutative property, we allow the switch. Now, let's try it to see what happens. Remember, this one's a little bit different. It's a bonus extra question. So now I have an x squared in the first two. So that gives me an x plus a y, and I take the x, divide by x squared, I get an x, divide by x squared, I get a y. I see a negative right here, so I take out the negative, I also take out, we call it a negative 4. Negative 4y divided by negative 4 is y. Negative 4x divided by negative 4 is x. Now I have a binomial, but notice this is x plus y, and this is y plus x. Well, they are the same. So I'm just going to switch them around. So let's make y plus x the same as x plus y. Again, because the commutative property, you can switch them around. 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. Now I have the same binomial GCF. So I take x plus y out, I get an x squared. I take x plus y out, and I get a minus 4. And again, x minus 4 is the difference of two squares. So it's x and x, 2 and 2, plus minus. Again, x is being squared and 2 is being squared. 4 is 2 squared. So that's the difference of two terms being squared. So the x goes into both brackets, 2 goes into both brackets with a plus minus. So that's factoring a cube. A cube, a cube has three factors. Notice, the more you practice, and you might not, I, even though I've done this in this uh, video, you might, not have, you might not have seen this, but the more practice you, if you ask your teacher about it, and he could give you some, or he could say, he or she could say, well, we're not going to do that till next year. Well, I'm doing it now, because the more you do, the more practice you get, the better you get. If you like my video, click the like button. If you're uh, not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell because more videos coming your way. Write a comment on my video if you wish. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com. The section on me talks about my degrees and teaching experience. The video section talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. And the content section has the topics and the number of videos on those topics on my YouTube channel, Math Fully Explained. And the uh, black font is what's online right now, and the red font is 
topics that will be online in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.